Indie Zombie. Hey everybody, welcome to Indie Zombie Let's Play. My name is Jordan Reuter. Today I am playing level 22, Gary's Misadventures. Now, I did already initially play three parts of this game, but uh, my editor would not allow me to edit part one properly. It kept on crashing on me and not finalizing the project. So this is actually me just replaying the first couple of levels that I already played originally. And wow, this part actually takes a while. And uh, so this will be sort of a replaying part one, and then you'll see parts two and three later on. I don't know if I actually will continue playing this game, but uh, maybe that could be up to you. If you guys enjoy what you see, please let me know. Basically, this is a stealth playing game on the PlayStation 4. It goes for about seven bucks. Gary here is late for work because he stayed out all night partying on his birthday. Of course, can you blame him? And his buddy uh, Marty here, who's a former employee, is kind of helping him. Basically, uh, like any other stealth game, you gotta sneak your way around some of these guards. Some are sleeping, some are not, some have patrol patterns and vice versa. You need particular items in order to get through particular areas, like an access card or sometimes an item in order to hide behind or use to help you get past certain areas. So it's very important that you pay attention to how people move around and act. Like this guy goes back and forth from the copier to his desk. And if you try to enter while he's there, he'll see you and well, it's game over. So. Yeah, and this guy just feels the need to remind you about everything that you need. Thankfully, I've already... I've, I've actually played this first part twice now, but really this is three. And I don't remember exactly how far I initially got in my first playthrough. I know I got through one very difficult level that I was having. This not being one of them. The game also introduces a few other interesting mechanics, such as hiding inside of cupboards. And then, you know, a lot of your typical stealth game fare where uh, you're hiding behind objects, you're watching people's patrol patterns, and uh, some people have a particular amount of time depending on how far away you are before they will recognize you or, you know, and then other people can just instantly see you. But yeah, all in all, it's a pretty easy little game. There are also collectibles and stuff like that, but only if you're a hardcore gamer can you get into shit like that, and I once was, but not really anymore. See, here's another interesting mechanic. Now you have a newspaper that you can hide behind, but what's kind of weird is that the game, only every once in a while, will it introduce items like that that you used to hide behind, and then the rest of the time, you don't. So it's just kind of introducing a few, and then it just tosses them away tad weird like that and boom level two complete level three i believe was where i was actually having some real difficulty on this one because uh yeah so now you're introduced to the idea of security guards and you can't hide behind the newspaper in front of them though you don't even have the newspaper anymore uh, what's funny is, is I was wasting a lot of my time in my previous play through this of trying to get the newspaper because there's one in that room, but you can't get to it. So what you need to do is you need to get this donut here, this delicious donut, and you want to distract the security guard because as we all know, security guards are very pliable to juicy, delicious, frosted donuts, aren't we all? Unless, of course, you're a diabetic. Uh, and yeah. But yeah, but only every once in a while do you get uh, specific items that you can use for particular areas. Like, like later on, you'll get boxes that you can hide inside of and crawl around inside of all of Metal Gear and stuff like that crawl inside of vents a la Metal Gear so you want to crawl your way through here there's a secret area that you'll that you can get to should have gone where you can apparently find the game developers but there's really nothing all that special in that room at all other than oh you find the Caesar egg does it give you access to any 
achievement points or anything like that? No. This area is particularly difficult. Okay, now I think I can go. Nope, never mind. Fuck. All right, try again. Thankfully though, this game is very, uh, uh, it's very forgiving with its, uh, with its checkpoints. So, God, it's like, you gotta wait for like a particular moment right here. It's like, you gotta follow this guy, I believe. Or like, you gotta wait like a precise moment. Like, you gotta... Ah, uh, nope, that didn't work. It's like, I forget exactly how I did it, but... You know, you have to follow, like, one of those guys... Around. Because that's the only way that you'll get out. Ugh. Because or else otherwise, there's no way that you're gonna be able to get through that. Because I think if you try to... Yeah, see, he'll just turn around and he'll see you. And forget about trying to use a newspaper or anything like that. You can't use it here. I tried. I tried again and again to see if I could go back and get the newspaper, but I couldn't do it. And this guy, he turns around so fast. So you only have a certain amount of time in order to do it in. if I... Nope. Son of a bitch. I'm guessing there's a collector's item right there. Yeah. It's a collector's item. whoop de freaking do game. Because that's what I care about is a collector's item. Yeah, this is going to be a bitch. See, I think what you need to do is I need to follow this guy as he's walking back to his desk. Nope, didn't work. Son of a bitch. I forget how I did it. And it took so many damn tries, too. Yeah, and the funny thing is, is that this is like the hardest part of the game that I've discovered so far is just this one little section. Everything else was not this hard. It was all just a matter of time of trying to figure out exactly how to use the items and then... There we go. Oh, fuck! I was right in front of him. Damn it. I nearly had it, too. Of, you know, of knowing how to use particular items in order to get past certain areas. And such things like that. So yeah, I do have to follow him as he's walking back. I just got to make sure to stay out of the line of sight of people. Of course, it doesn't help this guy turns around so goddamn fast. Don't see me. Oh, thank you, merciful God. All right. Now let's see what the next level is, because pretty sure I already faced this part in my next le Let's Play. Uh, yes, I do. All right. Well, you know what, everybody? This has been Indie Zombie Let's Play Level 22 of Gary's Misadventures. I know that uh, probably in the next Let's Plays, I mispronounce the name several times. For that, I do apologize. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you'd like me to continue this series or what other games you would like to see me play or suggest for me to play please let them be console games because i can't really play anything on pc please hit the like and subscribe button if you did enjoy this i would greatly appreciate it i'll see you guys next time and check me out on twitter at jmr 709 see ya